Welcome back, viewers. It's the orangutan, and uh, it's got us a new video here. Well, just uh, five easy tips and tricks that you might not know. Most people probably know them, but um, yeah. So we'll start that off, and uh, without further ado, let's get into. So yeah, so the first one, as the title says, is bed rolls. Bed rolls are king, and they really are. Like you don't want to be. You know, normally, if you get into a dangerous situation, you'll look and you'll think, "Oh, shit, sure, I'm going to die here for sure." So you put down a bed roll. The amount of times that I've died, thinking everything was good, you know, it's all groovy. We we got this, and then oh bullshit, and you're running through the jungle with shit chasing you and that, and like naked, you know. Like, yeah, it's it's no fun at all, so bed rolls, put them down. I wouldn't suggest picking them back up, because you forget to put the next one down, so leave them, just put them everywhere. They'll slowly, I think they pick themselves up when you place a new one, but um, yeah, I wouldn't bother picking them up, they're cheap to make, you know, you can make fancy ones out of hide, or you can make those scratchy, itchy grass sort of ones like that, you know, sort of itchy blanket that you always got at your nan's house, but um, yeah. And just ahead of time too, I'd like to apologise if the audio is a little bit off this time around because it's hard to have the same enthusiasm when you're recording over for the second time. I'd usually do my my commentary live because it's more spontaneous than that, but I sort of recorded this and then found out that I had my mute button on, so, hey, how good am I going? But anyway, first things, get yourself a stack of bed rolls, get 10. Get 20, bucket, carry 50, if you got the carry one, of course. So the second of our sort of tips and tricks, I don't know if that's a good name for it or not, but anyway, it sounds a bit corny, but is companions. Get yourself some companions. Doesn't matter what you get, get some shit level one bloke to chase you around. Knock a bit of armour up, give him a sword and get into it. Get a horse, get a camel. Got a video on getting camels. Let's check back through the vids. I, I'd, I'd um, link it in the description if I knew how. That's something I need to look into. But yeah, we've got a Masuf here. Get a camel. That's not how you get on it, but that is. And then we've got a Gemma G. We'll get Gemma. To, the beauty of this is when you're riding something too, um, carry weight wise. I've got 20 on the camel. Gemma can carry three or four, you know. Depend on what weapon she's got. And you just, yeah, plus what you carry yourself. But we'll ride down here to where there's a bit of trouble. And I'll show you the beauty of um, having companions. What it what it does is it, it's, it shares the load. Like not anything to do with carrying things. It shares the load as in when something's attacking you. It, it'll attack everybody. It'll attack it and it'll attack everybody. Instead of you just being the only one there. Well, geez, I'm good at driving these camels, eh? But here we go. He's a spider. Oh, that shot at me straight up. Gemma's into him, the camel's done a runner, but yeah, just, they're just great, you know, companions are, are the way to go, we'll go down here a little bit further, see if we can get in some more trouble. So early in the piece, one of the later tips too is um, about, well I won't go into it, but you'll see, and that'll sort of make uh, a more even more important to get companions early. Your yeah. heart will now, be even. She's a pretty good rated companion, you know, she's a cannibal brute and that, she's up to level 18 or something, yours won't be this good when you first start off, but doesn't matter if you burn through a few, you know, they're dime a dozen, there's plenty of people out there you can tame, and as you, uh, I don't know if tame's a good word, but, um, yeah, make your companion. And, yeah, like here, the crocodile, for instance, he's got three targets instead of one. He'd probably go straight for me now, I've said that, of course he did. But, once again, now, even if you run and the camel runs, hopefully you could run faster than a camel. So, yeah, there's the second one. Get yourself early as you can. Get yourself some um, companions, whether it be a horse, camel, hyena, some dude from down Dude River, doesn't matter, just get one.
So here we are again with, uh, I think this is the third of our our videos in the series, and this is all about journey steps. Journey steps are those things that turn up on the top right of your screen there. Yeah, you can, um, as soon as you come in down on the Bracken Highway and New River, you'll get easy journey steps, say make a sword, make a this, make a that. To get to your journey steps, you just go along the top tab with your R2 once you press, press the D-pad. And, well the touchpad, sorry, and yeah, it just, they're all self-explanatory. What you need to do is in the centre there, see some of those are crossed off. Your reward is on the top right. So you go through different ones, you know you might want a bow, that one there is a good one. You get the extra tanner station which you can't get any other way. It's a little bit larger than the others and it, I think it goes a little bit faster. It's not a bad one. So yeah, you can work on that. And the other thing is you can just work on those for just something to do. You know, just to keep you busy, like um, the Alchemist one. You don't really need to do that. You can make those in a casting bench, but you know, it depends on what you're looking for. You might be looking for different things than me, you know, like that there is an absolute game changer. That's what I mentioned about getting a companion. If you do those steps there, to make a make a world of pain, tame a thrall, do this, do that, that will get you then make that available to you. And it's the best stuff ever. You don't have to run around like a Neanderthal and knock them all over with a club. You can throw that out and it knocks them all out. Yeah. It's great stuff. So do that early in the piece, get yourself a couple of companions just to use as cannon fodder more or less and learn that at the same time. Yeah, you know, there's other things there. The brewer gives you acuity, but I don't even know what it is. Yeah. You know, patent compost there, that um so you can grow your own lotus flowers. There's a nice gold helmet. Set of earrings if you like that sort of thing. Maybe there's some nice colours for you to wear with your earrings, if you know what I mean. There's a sword. Yeah, there's there's a <laughs> there's the adventurer, you gotta spend a fragment of power, you've got to have one first. They give it to you as a as an afterthought. The reward's a fragment of power, but and that's you gotta let's just go to different places. There's ones where you gotta climb stuff, there's ones you gotta fight stuff, there's they're all they're all different and yeah, when you sort of like I said, you've done dungeons all day and you had enough of it and you've collected enough resources and all the camels are happy. Well, why not um, do some of this? Might do something different here. I've got a bit of time on the end of this clip, so just remember if you like this sort of stuff, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, do so. If you want to share it, share it. You know, this stuff's sort of slowly building. So I've started the cane and stuff, it's gone really well, so I appreciate everybody who's watched that. And yeah, just get on the journey, you know. We're not go we're, we're going somewhere not real fast, but we'll get there. And the other thing is I do this more for the fun of it and like just to help other people. You know, I've had some comments on my last couple of videos. I never had comments before. I was stoked. I answer every one of them. So I can't believe me luck. But uh, I can't promise I'll do that when I've got 7 million subscribers, but at the moment with 62, I'll answer all your comments. So if you've got a comment, put it down below and I'll answer it. But anyway, without that, let's get on to number 4, shall we? And we'll see what the uh, next the next one of these is. See you then. So here we are uh, back again, viewers, and here we are down on the savannah, as you can see. Now this is the sort of place that doesn't look that dangerous, but Shit, you could trip over your own sandal and go face down and drown in that water. So, first thing I suggest is we use our number one tip, which is put down a bedroll. So, we'll get onto that. This is all about what tools you use in what situations. Well, look at that. We haven't even got our bedroll down. We've been bowled over by a rhinoceros, eh? See what I mean? Well, anything could happen. If you were level eight, you're dead. But, yeah, um... So, you know, you start off down on the river there and you've got stone tools and you go metal tools and you go, you go iron and you go steel and you go hardened steel and you go, 
uh, uh, what they call it, star metal, well, they call it blue fire steel, I don't know why, star metal, and then there used to be black blood and all that, but they're not really a thing anymore. Obsidian stuff's pretty good, not really any better than the than the star metal and making obsidian stuff, well, it's just a pain in the ass. You've got to go to the volcano and fight a thousand lizard blokes and learn a recipe and you got to, yeah, I think you've got to go up there to, to smelt your obsidian, I think. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, that's another thing. I'll look into it. But here we are. We're knocking over a couple of rhinos and it depends, you know, your target sort of what you want. You know, do I want skin? Do I want meat? Do I want hide? Do I want bones? You know, so we'll whack them with a pick and see what happens. You know, yeah. Got a bit of everything. Got some bones there we can use in our cooking or our sorcery. Uh, we're getting hide, getting a bit of meat, so we're getting a bit of everything. The pickaxe is a fantastic tool. Once you get to a star metal pickaxe, you're pretty much home and host, you know, you, you've made it. It's um, all, all easy after that. So we've got some meat, so let's um, we'll try out a, a bit of a tree here in a minute. When you're ready, mate, in your own time. Oh, I see the baby rhinos over there. Uh, if you kill babies, you're an, a you're an animal. You, yeah, it, that's terrible. Baby killer. Like, yeah, leave them alone. But, um, here we go. There's going to be some action here in a minute. Oh, here we go. Look at that. You hit it with a pickaxe. You get a little bit of everything. We've got wood, bark, resin, branches. You name it, we got it. Then if we change to the axe, we get wooden branches. So that's an obsidian axe there. And as you see, it did not set the world on fire. What are we? We're going to go with the pickaxe again. Yep. Pickaxes are great if you just want to run around the map like a madman and just whack everything you see. You'll come home without much stuff. Let's use a pick. Bark and resin. So there you go. If you're looking at like drying stuff out with bark and making hard and brick hardener with resin, or drying out wood and using resin to make um, insulated wood. Use your pick, bark and resin, look at that. It all works out, yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't take long to, to learn your different tools, just experiment, try it. And like I said, you might be targeting a, a specific sort of like um, material or you may not be. And a good thing with these pickaxes, look, you can whack rocks, you can whack metal, you can whack whatever you want with them. Another thing is, we'll get the sickle on now. If I go up to this plant fiber and start banging at it with a square button, nothing really happens. Look at that, two, four, six sort of thing. Whereas if I hit it with this, oh, shit. Look at that, we're getting seeds, plant fiber, bees, <laughs> bugs, you name it, we're getting it. it used to, now, this used to be a thing, but it's not anymore. If you wanted um, insects for your fish traps, what you used to do was... Um, get in there with your pickaxe and, and whack those bushes and all you'd get is like the insects but yeah not anymore I sort of patched that I think it was in the last update they send a send a patch a few things every now and again and no one ever mentions it it just slips through to the keeper and you've got to find it out for yourself just little things like uh, the merchants that used to be up at McMosis and Spire you know where you could buy black blood tools they're not there anymore. Nobody knows where they're gone. There's a few rumours they turned up somewhere else, but they didn't. And nothing was ever written about it. Anyway, I've waffled on enough this time around, so we'll get on with our last one, shall we? So here we are, viewers, with the um, fifth of our five um, sort of tippy-tricky type thing. We're down in the kitchen, as you can see, I've got a pretty flash kitchen. Fuck, I've even got a cat. That's how good I'm going. But you don't need these flash stoves and, you know, level four cooks. Level four cooks help. I'm going to show you where to get one of those if you're interested in that or a cooking video. Um, put in the comments and I'll um, see if I can oblige. I'm going to make some pretty simple stuff here. Um, buff food, which gives you buffs because a lot of people don't realise the food you can eat can, can really help in different situations whether you play PvE or PvP, but we'll make some of this um, herbal tea. So all we need is purified water, aloe leaves and plant fibre, so it's not real hard. 
you need the recipe but once again there's YouTube videos on where to get all the cooking and brewing recipes or if you'd like to see my spin on it put in the comments and I'll make one of those too so um, I'm happy to follow whatever people think and you know, what, what you want to see I'll see if I can do it but um so yeah we've knocked up some of that and then we're going to make uh, mystery meat soup which is a bit of a combination of things but it's not overly there's nothing too hard in there first off we need to make some soup which is down the bottom here don't worry about all those fried egg looking things they're shade spice stuff which is for taming animals and trying to get greater greater companions and that that's a whole another thing once again if you want to see that put in the comments there you go so we made some soup as you can see this service cranked up a bit fast it um, doesn't normally make that fast but <laughs> it's only for uh, the purpose of showing you how so next we need to make some bone broth and that is soup and bones which we've got So we've made soup, then bone broth, and then we're going to chuck in a couple of arms and legs, <laughs> which gives it its name, I think, the mystery meat. And we're now making mystery meat soup. And there you have it. And then you're probably thinking, oh, Jesus, Ranga, what did you make us sit through all that bullshit for? Well, I'll show you why because if we check out the you'll see there I can't really see that from it, it's like stamina regen and healing just from that so yeah it wasn't hard to make plant fiber aloe and a bit of water and then I think the uh, the soup when we get onto that oh yeah yeah sorry yeah healing and stamina regen are we going to the soup? See, when I was doing this commentary live, I must have waffled on about the herbal tea a fair bit. You sort of run out of words when you when you when you've got to put it in. When you're just doing it with the flow, it's a hell of a lot easier. I think this video might have paused. Oh, here we go. We finally got onto it, and so that gives you plus sixty plus sixty health. So we go over here and we'll look in the fridge at some of the stuff we've prepared earlier. Yeah, everything, you can see the buffs down there. I think that one's uh, plus 50 armor, plus it makes you warm. So, you know, if you're in the snow and you're cold, Lasting Feast gives you extra 45 carry capacity, which really comes in handy if you're a low level. So I think, what's that say, uh, strength weapon damage? And that's just salted meat, exotic feast, you know. Strength weapon damage, uh, yeah. So as you can see, there's some things you can cook. These fish, they're the fish off the, um, if you saw the Sunken City episode where I went down and got the scales and you make the improved fish traps. And then you come back and those fish you can just cook on the side of the road. You just throw a couple of traps in the water, put bugs in them, and cook them on the side of the road. And, yeah, and you're getting like, that one gives you plus charisma, which makes your dingling grow, if you know what I mean. There, um, you know, agility weapon stuff. What else we got? There you go, look at that one. That's a good one. Plus 60 health. So you eat one of those and, yeah. It's a lot easier to cook than the mystery meat soup, which is three different steps. If you go to that dungeon, you'll need to be a different le a sort of medium level and you'll need a breathing mask. But um, if you go there and you get these, you can just knock them up anywhere, wherever you are, throw a campfire down, get yourself plus, plus 60 health. So yeah, that's why the cooking's like um, a lot of people 
don't bother with it spiced food you learn a lot of spiced recipes and they're very important for if you um, if you go into the cold climate you eat spiced food it'll stop you freezing to death also in here we've got another thing which is another whole story again once again we can do a video if you like on ambrosia now that's made at the I think it's the Mitra religious shrine once again you get good buffs off that too so there's a lot of good things to be said about about cooking and doing food just yeah which a lot of people I don't think worry too much about I think they just run around and eat yeah shredded roast all day also your thralls there's there's particular foods for thralls uh, your thralls need food because it makes them repair their damage if they get damaged you'll notice that if they don't have food on them they won't regenerate if they do have they will so or a lot faster at least so yeah you always put some make sure he's got a stack of 50 on him or her or it or whatever they are you know camels owners people but yeah so and that's the beauty of food so yeah get yourself a fridge you need a fridge so it doesn't go off but yeah but that's it for this video thanks for watching stay safe hope you enjoyed it and i'll um catch you all next time